Zachary Vex here of ZVEX FX. We're at the 2015 Winter NAMM Show, and uh, we've got a few new products to show you. First thing, this is the Pedal Thief. The Pedal Thief lets the singer borrow some pedals from the guitarist's pedal board. When it's hooked up and placed on the pedal board, the, uh, it can go with the pedal board permanently, and whenever the singer wants to borrow some pedals, he gets to the gig, he attaches his microphone cord to the box here, and then he puts one mic, so he only has to carry one extra microphone cord with him, with him, plugs in his mic into this cord, and then whenever he wants to, he can switch in and out the pedals that he wants to borrow off the pedal board. There's a guitar in, send, return, and guitar out, so that it can be permanently mounted on the board and just borrow a certain number of pedals off the board. Next up, we have the Bomb Pop. Now this prototype is a little thicker. <laughs> it's really thick. It's thicker than the, than the production unit will be. But the production units will be, you know, more like this, this thickness here. It has a Fuzz Factory 7 going into a Double Rock, going into an Instant Lo-Fi Junkie, going into a Wah Probe, going into a Super Hard on Booster. And um, the order of the pedals can be changed because there's a patch bay running across the back. If you plug in here at the Fuzz Factory 7 and take your output here and don't plug anything in these others, then you just get everything normalized, one to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. But if you want to change the order, it's easy. You plug in the one you want to go into first, for example, the Instant Lo-Fi Junkie, and then take the output from that one and run it to any of the other ends and just keep going like that till you get the order that you want. Bomb pop. Next. I have to get into here. I'm doing an interview. <laughs> How you doing, Jay? Next we have the Woolly Mammoth 7. The Woolly Mammoth 7 is a seven knob Woolly Mammoth that's got uh, two different outputs, two different output volumes that are selectable here at the switch. And the other feature it has is it's got three um, tone controls bass, mid-range, and treble, much like a Marshall tone stack. Um, gives you a lot more flexibility with the tone. Next. We're finally introducing da -da -da -da, a Vexter Woolly Mammoth. This will be a less expensive version of the Woolly Mammoth with exactly the same parts and exactly the same sound. Also, you can see this crazy contraption up here. The ZVEX MIDI light show. Watch it blow out that camera. <laughs> That's 10,000 watts of lighting lighting that I set up, but it's controlled by the ZVEX MIDI Light Show controller, which is over here. You need at least one of these, controls up to eight channels, and you take the outputs with quarter inch cords and go down into the dimmer bricks. The dimmer bricks look like this. They take a quarter inch input from the controller, and each channel has one of these dimmer bricks on it. You can plug up, a, in, in, up a, almost with, you can plug up, plug into it with as, as much as a thousand watt lamp. Here's the power cord for it. This through connection is a sort of extension cable that lets you daisy chain several of these bricks together, and then the dim output is there. What you do is you plug in your key MIDI keyboard and your laptop into a controller, and then you select one of these channels on the controller and immediately hit a key on the keyboard. And when you hit the key on the keyboard, it assigns that value to that controller. So this one, for example, this C is the top of the Z up there. See that? And there's C-sharp, that's the next segment, right there. And it goes on and on, every single one of the segments is a different key. And then, in order to record your performance on the lights, you set up a click track for your song, you go to your practice space and have the drummer play along to the click track, and while you're doing that, someone performs the lights on the keyboard and creates a panel roll, and the piano roll records the lights, and you uh, are able to pr play them back. It works very well with Pro Tools, it works really great with, with Logic, and uh, anything that's got a MIDI out, any kind of piano roll device or uh, system that's got a uh, MIDI out can be used with it. This is an inexpensive way of getting into very, compli very complex lights and, and uh, avoiding DMX, which is uh, a little bit more complicated than you really need for a small band. Typical lights that you can use with this are uh, uh, halogens that are used for like work lights. Those are really bright and really inexpensive. You can get a thousand watt system of those from Home Depot or Menards or many other uh, shopping places that have got uh, you know, a lot of power R really would light up the band quite well. I also recommend uh, ruggedized uh, bulbs, uh, rough, rough use bulbs, which uh, are available at, at uh, most hardware places and last a lot longer because the filaments are a lot thicker and they don't break when you're when you're moving your lights around. So those are the five new items we've got here: the Pedal Thief, the Bomb Pop, the uh, Woolly Mammoth Seven, the Vexter Woolly Mammoth, and the MIDI Light Show System. Along with the MIDI Light Show System is 
um, a mono headphone amp that we use. It's a 4 watt amp that a drummer can use for click track so that it's loud enough for him to be able to hear. Thank you very much for being part of it.